Hey guys, I'm back. I, just, I got the DX7 about a week ago for Christmas, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and I just wanted to do a review on it. So this is the controller. Elevator. Well, thr sorry, throttle, rudder, elevator, aileron. And then this, this is the on-off switch. So you'd, you'd use that to turn it on and off, obviously. And what it would do, I'll just show you. If, if like, say your throttle's up, like that. And you have one of the, and you have the flaps, f gyro switch, or any of this, anything besides zero, it will do this. I'll show you. It will start vibrating. I'll say throttle high, or say I flip the switch, it says flaps mid posi position. And then say I put it down, it will just turn on right. So let's turn it off. And then here's all the switches. The switches. All the switches, and that's the, that's the bind button. So you'd want to turn turn the controller on while you're holding the while you have the bind button pressed down. And that and sorry, that's the little roller thing. And this is the the top one's the clear a clear button. The bottom one's a back button. So and this this is the DX7 II. I mean DX7S. There was an other an, a different DX7, but it had like a lot more buttons down here and stuff. So this is a controller. I'll move that out of the way. Oh, and this is the box it came in. It looks like that. It just has a picture of it on there and stuff. So I'll just put this in there. And it comes packed in foam. Like packing foam kind of foam. And then this is the manual. It just tells you everything you need to know. It may, se it may seem thick, but there's only about 34 pages of stuff. Then it goes to a lot of different languages. This is the net as a strap. You just clip it on there. You need to put the thing through. So I'll just clip that on. Wait, if I can. Sorry, uh, never mind. Sorry about that. And then this is the this is the um like charger. So you plug that into the wall. You can you can actually change which one it is. You just press that button right there, and then twist it that way, and that plugs into the right side of the of the controller. And here is the AR800 Spectrum eight channel receiver. Um, so it's eight channels, and it leads to this, which is probably another wire thing. But then, and one more thing, in the box will be a case with a memory thing on it, and this is, what, this is like a mem one of the memory cards, that's um, the memory card that comes with it, 128 megabytes, and it goes into the left side of the controller right there, um, numbers facing towards you and up, so I'm just click that in, and you're good. And this is seven channels, twenty models, and two types. So it's pretty good. And then you can also move this around and do that. But you don't want to move it, push it actually, literally back. Cause it, like you don't want to push it that way, or else it will snap it, and then it will be like a ton, a lot less range. So is there anything else? Um. Oh yeah, and it comes with stickers. I can't really show you those right now since it would take a while for me to undo it. But there's like DX7S and all that stuff. So yeah, bye. And this is about four minutes. So bye.